Carl Maltzby, Director of Music at St. Richard's Episcopal Church in Winter Park, Florida. We're going to have a brief discussion on playing Afrocentric hymnody on the pipe organ. I'm reminded of a conversation I had with Mr. Robert H. Hume, who was my piano teacher at Lake Forest College. He was also the director of music and organist at First Presbyterian Church, Lake Forest, Illinois. And that conversation went like this, Mr. Hume to me. Oh, I hate the Hammond organ. Everything sounds like flutes. That's our cue to playing Afrocentric hymnody on the pipe organ, flutes. I suggest that when playing a hymn from this tradition, one begins with basically uh, flute stops, eight two or four and one, that helps to kind of recreate that Hammond sound. Then as one brings the congregation in, assuming the congregation is versed in the Afrocentric gospel style, you can add the traditional organ foundations to, as the verses increase and eventually you put the reeds and so forth, but you have to get them initially in that first, first few measures, first few bars with something that they are comfortable with, the sounds and timbres. In fact, that's what we're gonna focus our discussion on. Rhythm, registration, and attack release. Rhythm, registration, attack release. Because therein is part of the cue. Our biggest problem in playing Afrocentric hymnody on the pipe organ is the pedals. The pipe organ by its nature is a very slow responding instrument. Well, the instrument I have here at St. Richard's, I'm kind of lucky in that it is a mechanical action 1984 Visser Roland. Very small instrument, but it serves this space which seats about 242 people legally. But the bass and a lot of hymnody coming, especially that which comes out of the gospel style, emulates a bass guitar. In other words, it has to move. However, on a pipe organ with the pedals, even if one can move that fast, it sounds cumbersome. So one has to find a, another way to kind of emulate that movement. And sometimes it's basically about hitting where the bass drum might hit on the pedals. So, but let's get things started off with uh, an illustration of that Hammond-like sound on the pipe. I know it was the blood. It goes something like this. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. So with the company with me, we try to assimilate that.
it was a blow for me. Let's take a listen to If You Believe and I Believe. This is the Zimbabwean traditional hymn. It's written. Closer if you play more like stuff. That kind of gives it a little bit more look. Let's uh, take a listen at the hymn tune Zion. Although the song, it's not originally written in the Afrocentric tradition, it has been Africanized, if you will, by a lot of our Afro diaspora churches. So,